First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, I'm going to take a little break from the usual stuff and go through uh, what happened yesterday because it was a very, very productive day for me. Uh, we, we basically covered the cost of the of the day we had a couple just about all well the trades we got stopped out on were right near the low uh, so we had five trades we had two winners uh two losers and one break even and uh, but we had some home runs that uh babe ruth uh, struck out a few times i would have put my stop a little too close but we still did okay i started the day showing them what happened the previous day on the 19th of September. And I said, these markets repeat over and over again. And I was going to try to show them what that repetition was all about. And that's how I started to do it. I can say this with a great deal of, uh, I'm just really humbled by all of the email responses I got from the show. I have never gotten that many, res in, in the 15 years I've been doing this, I've never had that happen before. And I'll tell you what made it so successful uh, being in the room like that with live traders, we had so many people from the den in there that were actually seeing patterns. I mean, I focused on the bonds to begin with. I'll go on that in a bit. But uh, they were also showing some others. And uh, it was just to see people doing what I've been talking about for such a long time just really, uh, really made me good. It was a great day. Uh, from a perspective of learning and seeing what was happening, yes, we made some money, left a little bit on the table, but we were all right about just about all the things we had done and uh, the principles of what we were working on, worst control, were certainly there, and it was really great. Now, the chart that I'm showing now is what happened on September the uh, 19th, and that's what we were going to start out with. So what I did was, and I this part I know you're going to enjoy because no one had seen this before, and uh, I was going to show them why why I like ABCD so much. First of all, here was what we were looking at. If you'll see here once, so, oh, time out. There we go. Get this up here. This is the chart of the S&P as it was yesterday uh, on the 19th going into the close. And, of course, we went up uh, the number that ABCD was uh, 39.28. And we got to 39, I uh, believe 39, shut the front door, what was it, 39.35, and then it went all the way back down. And by the time we started the show, the market was breaking, you know, really quite a bit. So uh, what I tried to do was I said, okay, we're going to watch – to f just like it did before, we're going to watch for a 382 retracement. But before we get to that, I want to show you why I like this stuff so much, folks. This goes back to 1973-74 uh, uh, when I first started studying the Gartley book. The first thing that responded to me in the Gartley book was something that John Hill had showed me um, many years before. And then when I got the book from Don Mack, remember this book cost $1,500 in 1937, which was the cost of five Ford automobiles. But look at this, folks. You can see all the ABCD patterns that are here. I mean, it's just absolutely unbelievable. Remember, this was two two years before uh, Ralph Elliott. I wonder where Ralph Elliott got it. Anyway, it doesn't make any difference. But Gartley was the guy. He was equivalent to um, Sherman McMillan and some of the other guys. Oh, what was it? the the um, Oh, uh, the Dow Theory guy. I can't remember his name. Russell, Richard Russell. And uh, that he was that equivalent. And he had a huge service of all chart stocks, you know, and stuff like that. So that, that's what he, this is what he believed in. Uh, he got some of this work from Roger Babson, who was during that time also, who was, Babson was a really strong believer of Fibonacci and Thomas uh, uh, Edison and stuff. He had Edison's bed, actually, uh, Babson did. And it was a uh, oak bed. And on the headboard, 
of the bed was a, a scrolled uh, Fibonacci spiral, the, the chambered nautilus. Anyway, this is how I got started looking at that with John Hill and with the ABCDs and stuff. But after I had lost all my money, I, I, I had to get into this book real, and it's 560 pages, folks, but from page 200 to 250 was what really caught my eye because these were patterns, and I can understand that. I started everything with ABCD. But on page 222, I'm going to bring this up here so that you can see it here, you'll be able to grasp it. There it is right here. Now, this is exactly what it looks like in the book, folks, okay? And so that's why this was a very small chart on the top of a page. And pages 221 and 222, he described this pattern on the right here. You can see here that little tiny A, B, C, D right here. And you can see the little retracement right here. What he said on those two pages was, Look for the market to make a bottom and then buy the first retracement. That's what he was talking about here. Now, you notice on this one right here, he does not show an A, B, C, D, does he? But he shows one here. And in those two pages, which I've read, I don't want to tell you how many times, I finally figured out this is what he was trying to talk about. That's where I came up with the Gartley pattern, because you can see the A, B, C, D stopping right at the 618 or the 786, okay? So that's why I got so excited about, you know, looking at this stuff, because and then I, from then on, I started, I wrote my first paper on Gartley in 75, and then in 76, I started working for Drexel. I didn't have time to do any... Uh, to any more writing for for quite a while, but anyway, that's that's where it all came to uh, to start. And th and on those 50 pages from 200 to 250, uh, you know, he talks about other thing, and that's where the fractal comes in, which is on page 249, which is the ABCD that we see all the time, you know, every day. So that's what we were working on is coming in uh, coming in for the day. So as we get started during the day, uh, of course, we started at six o'clock, nine o'clock uh, Eastern time, and of course, the market had already started to break I'll show you right where we are you'll you'll be able to see where we were hold on one second here we'll we'll get this up here early this morning just a second here boys and girls and we'll be uh, okay here's where we were coming in okay there's where we were coming in okay bada bing bada boom and you can see the market had this huge breakdown here's when we started the thing so our premise was we're going to sell the first 382 retracement that we get and by golly you won't believe this, but right in the den itself, we had three or four people, especially one fellow, Mr. Paul, up there in the northern part of our country, up there in Vancouver. He said, why don't you look at 3880? Well, I said, let's take a look at that. And by golly, it was a perfect ABCD right in there. I think I've saved it here. And that just literally fell out of bed. It went from 3880 all the way down, 3880, 30. 3880 all the way down to 35 something 3540 now we didn't take all of it we took a very nice piece of it but that's that's what made my day is people seeing it themselves oh it just it just lights you up i'll tell you it's just really it's just like a, you're teaching a guy to play golf and he goes out there and you know shoots a you know a 69 and you shoot an 80 that that's that's basically how i felt uh, we didn't make as much money as the other three. I spent more time teaching because there were a lot of questions. It was my, you know, it was a lot of different reasons. I'll go to the bonds here in just a second here, and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, here's what we're looking at here. Yesterday, you can see here, this is the a number. There was the first 382 retracement. The second 382 retracement came in right here at 30,885. 30, and that's where we sold it, 30,885. And then it just fell out of bed, went all the way down to 30,500. And this is live trading. So let's have a little fun today, folks. It's not going to be a very volatile day because the Federal Reserve Chairman is speaking. And usually we have really quiet ranges on that day. Yeah, right. And I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Let's take a look at one of the toughest markets you can possibly trade. The most, well, they're all tough. Let's be realistic. But let's look at one that what we were looking at yesterday and, and why it was so, you know, very, very important. Let me get it up here to take a look at it. And here is the Treasury bonds. I'm going to show you the trade that we did yesterday, why we did it, uh, why I made a mistake. And that was the real uh, turning point. And it was early in the day, real turning point for the learning curve. People realize, you see, the ABCD structure on this measured to 129.23. But the 1.618 expansion, which you would expect because that's what you did right here, came in at one. 29.08. The low was 129.04. We got stopped out on the low. It took a small loss. And look what happened. It rallied well over $1,000. And now look what we have. We have the Fed coming in here today. And we've got another three drive. We got drive one, drive two, drive three. You can call it a four drive or, you know, re. Uh, recalculation of the three drive but this tells us that we should be coming down to this level right here in the treasury bonds my mistake yesterday and i and i said it when i when i put the trade on at 12933 you know i said well i'm you know trying to make money for everybody so i you know a little early and stuff but what was really interesting to me from a learning point is when we were down here making new lows, there were two people in the den, one person in the den and one person Skype me, they're big option traders, good size option traders. One of them is my occasional guest here at uh, TFNN. I won't mention his name, 
but his first name starts with an R and his second initial starts with an A. But what happened was he gives me a call and he said, hey, look, he said, I'm long here. I said, I like it. And he said, I'm, I'm long calls. And he said, they're going up with the market going down. I said, yeah, that can't be right. He said, I know it can't be right, but that's what's happening. And boy, once we hit that number, boom, away it went. So anyway, it was really fun to listen to that and see what's going on. This is an active trade going on, folks, that we're waiting for to be buyers down here at 128.10 uh, uh, when, the, when the Fed comes out. Now, maybe this is the bottom. Maybe this is. I don't know. But you know what? Nobody else does either. But I'm willing to take a shot there risking, you know, 20 pips. Because I, you know, look at this sell point you had here, right at a 61% retracement. That's a one three five pattern that we had today. All right, let's do one other just for kicks and giggles and have a little fun here. See, uh, see if I don't make myself too much of a fool today. But I do it so often that I really enjoy it. And not only that, and not only that, sometimes this stuff actually works. And now, guess boys and girls, we are going to dance with the devil. With the devil himself. You remember, what's his name? Um, oh, shucks. It's Flip Wilson. Remember Geraldine? Well, this is Geraldine talking to you, boys and girls. Let me get this up here so you can take a quick look at it. This is the black gold Texas tea. This is going to be crude oil. This is a short-term trade, folks, but it's lined up just exactly like everything else. Of course, we got the Fed coming in here. Look at this. We have the 135 pattern right here. Just acted perfectly. Beautiful. We have the 382 rally. And look with the 382 rally with an ABCD coming in up here about another 50 pips. Now, that's going to be during Fed time, so it's not for the faint of heart. And if you have Digitalis or some other medication that you're taking, Synthroid, whatever it happens to be, uh, make sure you have it handy because, you know, maybe this thing's not going to work. But that's got everything going for you. On the downside, look at A. B, C, D to the downside. I mean, it's, it, it can't make this stuff up. I, that's why I stick with A, B, C, D, folks. Someone asked me today, uh, they were listening to Bloomberg and everybody was bullish. Uh, the fact that the Fed's only going to do 75 points and things are over and stuff like that. That's the same stuff they gave us two weeks ago when the Dow drops 1,300 points. I don't know if it's going to do that today, but, you know, that's just cannon fodder. You know, I have to look at the charts. That's all I got, and that's all I need. Remember the movie City Slickers, one of my very favorite? I was in Tucson here when it first came out with uh, Jack Palance and um, Billy Crystal. I saw it three times. I liked it so much because I knew Jack Palance because he was a not a friend, but I knew who he was, and I said hello to him because he was a customer at Drexel Burnham. He was an ex-Marine. He used to come. He was in his 60s then. Late 50s, anyway, yeah, late 50s, and he would still do one hand push ups. He'd do seven, eight one hand push ups. It was just incredible. Well, well, and a super nice guy and, and tremendously humble. But anyway, I was watching the movie, and remember the key to it was one thing, one thing. And after the end of the movie, they finally said, Well, what, what is it, Curly, that, that makes it work? And he said, One thing. He said, Learn to do one thing right, and all the other stuff will fall into place. You know, and that's right. And I think if you learn to do that one thing right, you're okay. The other thing you got to remember, folks, is trading is a journey. It's not a destination. That's the key to what we're paying attention to here. So we're going to have wild action into the Fed today. No question about it. But 94.16 happens, excuse me, 84.16 happens to be that number. You got to you gotta risk about 1000 bucks on it because, first of all, it's down on the day, which is a good thing. So you're way below the opening. You got a positive thing on that. But um, watch that crude oil. That's the type of trade that I'd be looking at. And watch the bonds, folks, because we've been down in bonds now. When we come back from the rake, we have to talk about bonds because the whole world is bearish bonds now. And, boy, I'll tell you, you can't get anybody to buy a bond. I mean, that's <laughs> even, even someone with a lot of money won't buy the bond. So we have to pay uh, very, very close attention to that for sure. And then I wanted to share uh, one other uh, trade today because it was doing exactly – what we were seeing here uh, in the uh, crude oil. This one we were able to uh, uh, get off because it had a pretty nice uh, pattern. This happens to be natural gas. And you'll notice it's the same pattern as in the, uh, they're all the same pattern. You don't know, if you take off what the X and Y axis is, I can't tell you what this stuff is. Anyway, there's your 382 retracement. From there, we dropped $4,000. I, uh, embarrassing to say, I made a nice piece of it, but not as much as I could have. And you know what? 
That's true of darn near every trade that I do because unless you get the absolute low tick or the high tick of the day, you're always going to leave something on the table. And you remember the four fears, leaving money on the table. You got rid of that one. Fear of losing money, fear of losing, uh, leaving money on the table, fear of uh, – what was the yeah, fear of uh, this fear? Of, I can't remember all four of them because I've read them so many times. I, I can't remember them all. But anyway, that's the one you got to remember. You're never going to unless you get that high tick or the low tick. You're always leaving somebody on the table. So forget that fear. And, you know, don't worry. Don't the fear of losing the fear. Of, if you if you have a fear of losing, get another job, for God's sake. The only way you make money in this business by losing I mean, look at the baseball players. Uh, th this guy that's hitting home runs, uh, Aaron Judge, he just hit 60 home runs. Uh, do they count how many times he struck out? Hello, operator. Why don't we do that? If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I have posted a chart that we've been using here for a very, very long time. This is the long-term chart of the Treasury bonds. If you remember, we were looking at this A, B, C, D right here. You notice this 382 retracement that we had right here? I mean, this is a long-term weekly, folks, so it goes back four and a half years. And then that measured to right up here. You couldn't get anybody to sell a bond up here because everybody was talking about negative interest rates, right? Now, look, let's turn it upside down. There's your 382, there's your 135 pattern. We've been bearish, folks, for nine, 
well over a year, but really bearish right here. We got extremely bearish here and even extremely bearish here. That was a 382 of that. Now, we might make a big ABC to the downside, which is possible. But this measures you. why I said, uh, I'm just looking at that bond chart, this is the number we're looking at, 128, you know, breaking 129 today. And there would be a three drive to a bottom pattern on the long term weekly, too. I mean, this market's so oversold, it's just unbelievable. You know, so it's going to be really interesting what happens. I am not issuing a buy signal in Treasury bonds. I'm just sure I'm going to be buying them, but I'm not going to have normal people buying them because if I lose, I'll feel bad. If I lose, I don't feel bad at all. But anyway, that's what we're watching down here because this thing – if it gets much below here uh, and doesn't bounce, wow, something's wrong. Well, there is something wrong. We already know that. But what's going to happen to that, I am not absolutely sure. But no one else is either. So just keep that in mind as we, as we go through some of these charts uh, that we're looking at. Now, what I've done is I've posted something into the Tiger Den about the Dodd-Frank a bill that was done by Obama that basically gives them the right to take money out of your account to uh, run the government. And if you don't believe it, read that bill. Don't keep a lot of money in your savings account, folks. It's much safer in your commodity account or your stock account because they can't go there. They can go into your savings account, but the stock and commodity accounts are protected. Well, they're supposed to be. Hell, who knows in these days? But anyway, that's what we have uh, going on here today. But look at this, folks. We're finally down here, all right? And you can't find a bull in sight. I mean, you really can't. And so, it's, and even if we get a short covering rally here, which is all I'm expecting, that short covering rally could take you up into this area here, which is a $20,000 move in the Treasury uh, uh, bonds. If that, I, I'm not saying it could happen. I'm just saying this is the ABCD. You know, I, I've been showing this for a long time. So now we're here, you know. So, and I hate this is nothing, there's no fundamentals. Nothing. This was the biggest scam ever perpetrated on the financial world right there. Negative interest rates. I couldn't believe that. And people were doing it, you know, minus uh, in Switzerland, minus one percent. I mean, hello, operator. Now mortgage rates are six percent. Can't even afford to buy a house anymore. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here today. And by golly, boys and girls, we just the old Her Kermit the Frog has just told us that we are within just a few pips of the old uh, 382 in the crude oil at 84.16. So I would be, the high has been 84.05. Let's see, I got my order in there at 84.15. Let's see if we get filled here. And then I'm only going to risk about a, uh, one, one, one handle, uh, you know, one, one do a dollar barrel or a thousand bucks is all I want to be uh, watching at here as we uh, move on. Uh, to looking at some of these things here today. Okay, we've got how long? We've got about 45 minutes before the Fed works and everybody's standing there waiting around and we'll see uh, how things are moving. Uh, check out the old Bondolis. They're uh, 129.25, so we're only, uh, we're less than 16 points away. That number we're looking at in the bonds, folks, is 128.20. That's where I think we're going to go based on the ABCDs of that hourly chart. And um, we'll see if that's going to work, and uh, we'll uh, see how it's going to happen. Well, it's going to be crazy, and so you don't want to be lazy. You want to be able to get in there and try to uh, do the best you can with what God has given you. And believe me, he's given us a lot, that's for sure. That's why, like Tony Robbins is saying so much, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And boy, I tell you, there's very few people that have as much gratitude uh, that I've had in my life. And yesterday, I tell you folks, I do this for a lot of reasons, fun being one of them. But yesterday, even though we made less money than we did on the other three that we've done, this is the fourth one, we still covered the cost of the 295 plus a, a little bit either way. Some people did really well because they were in the bonds uh, on on options and you know those made they they made a lot of money and some people held on to the uh, two, uh, 382 uh, in the S and P or the Dow Jones and made well over 1500. But not everybody did that, and so I have to report it as it is. But uh, to see people doing it and and telling me ahead of time, look, this is what we should be doing. To me, that was really worth the uh, the price of admission because it was very very. Uh, I just really can't thank the folks enough for doing it. You know, I'm eight. I'm in my eighth decade now, and uh, you know, I feel I still feel like I'm 16 years old. I still love this stuff. 
Uh, but when I see people that I've worked with that are doing it, and some people get really excited about it, it, it just, it just, it, it's just really a great feeling. That that's the the bottom line of what I'm trying to say here. So, I don't know, but that's what I'm looking at here, and I uh, I just can't tell you enough that it was really a lot of fun. Yes, I'm looking forward to the next one we do, which will be tomorrow. No, let's try it again, Larry. It'll be probably in Mar February or March, I would guess. I'll probably uh, continue. I I really had a lot of fun yesterday because when I saw people doing what I've been saying to do. You know, it was really great. And then today it's doing the same thing. I had three or four people said, you know, you're right. It's doing the same thing again today. What did the S&P do? Perfect ABCD up there at 3910, I think, or 3908 or whatever the high of the day was, was the same ABCD pattern. And all we're doing now is backing and filling, waiting for the Fed. The one number you got to pay attention to here, because there might be a surprise here that people aren't ready for, and that is... We could make 39.59 in the S&P today, and that's a 382 on that whole move down from the big down day that we had uh, quite a while ago. Because we haven't even come close to that 382, and that's still out there. So there could be one heck of a short covering rally in some of these things, and uh, so you've got to be extremely careful. You've got to be extremely careful even when the Fed isn't working. So remind ourselves of that. By the way, no guests today. But uh, our guest tomorrow was always uh, welcome is Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on Norm Winsky on Friday Astro Cycles of Naples, Florida, and on two, uh, Thursday of next week we got Alfie Lavoy, and uh, next thing we have I think on Monday I can't remember I, th I think we have the Shane man either Monday or Tuesday I I think Shane's due on Monday, and so and. It, I forget who the other ones are. We'll have to do that. But anyway, th there'll be some good guests coming along here. We've got a break coming up that we got to pay a few bills for. And from that level, we'll uh, take a look and see what's uh, happening with everything else. So stay tuned, folks. Long way to go for the end of the day. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun, you know, doing it. And that's what we're going. We've got a whole minute left. So I'm sorry. I, I have to get one. Oh, the natural gas. Oh, shut the front door. Shut it. Show. This is what I wanted to show you today. Talking about that old 382 is what you do. Here is the 382 do. And we talked about this yesterday in the the uh, thing to watch for this today. We had the big move down. No 382. Nowhere in here do we have a 382. We had one today right after the opening up there at 810. The high was 812. And from there, down we went to the tune of $4,000. This thing racks up points, folks. Look at 382. It's really a beauty. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I wanted to go through another sequence of a trade yesterday. This was long before we started the show, but we had a 382 retracement here uh, in the wheat, and it had about a five cent profit in it. Uh, this was, we started the show at nine o'clock, and of course, wheat was uh, backing off at that time. And I said that, you know, you uh, were too late to do this because we had had a small profit, you know, 250 bucks. And I said, it stops at break even. I said, because if it bopped, you know, goes through here because of this large ABCD, this could mean that we're going to go a whole lot higher. And sure enough, you're not going to believe what happened. I will follow through with this because we learn something for everything we do. As we take a look at this trade, you're going to be able to see uh, where we were. Hold on one second, and I'll get it up here. This is on a different time frame, but it's the same pattern. They, all these patterns are the same. Doesn't make any difference what time frame you're looking at. So here's where we were. There's where we were right in here. I was doing that 382 right here. Now, this is a hourly chart, excuse me, a four-hour chart. The other one was a 15-minute chart. So I was looking only at this pick part right here. And as you can see, we have a really nice ABCD there. It came right down, bada-bing, to the 61 and right down to the 382. So there was nothing bearish about this. So I was against those, and I certainly got out the right way. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't go long. So, aha, there's another sequel to this story. So let's look at what happened today. And if we're looking at the same thing over and over again, as we see these things repeat over and over again, let's see what happened today. If you learn something from every trade, you're going to be a lot better than most people, including myself most of the time. But I look at a lot of charts. So here's what happened to wheat today. Look at this. We go all the way up here to 914, and we drop 35 cents down. What is that, folks? That's the A, B, C, D to the downside. 35 cents happens to be the harmonic number in, in wheat, 35 or 36 cents, the same as it is in gold. And gold is $36. So right there, bada-bing, bada-boom, bada-bing, bada-boom, and away she goes, 382. And look how much it's jumped. We've rallied uh, well over 35 cents, got all that 35 cents back, and it looks like we're heading up to – you know, $10 again, if in fact that's the way it looks. So that's what we're paying attention to here uh, today, and we'll we'll see what happens with some of these things uh, as we go through looking at these, and that's what we're paying attention to today. Of course, the Fed coming in, anything happens, and it usually does. So let's move on. I have to share, uh, we have a, we have a uh, standing gift every week to the person that has the most beautiful chart, and that gift goes today to Mr. ZM down in the south there. Uh, let's get it up here, and we'll show the Zaki man's uh, chart here. And, boy, it is a beauty. Isn't the – he should have this framed, and I'll bet you he put it up at the galleries up there. He'd probably get about – start the starting bids would be about a quarter of a million. 
But look at this beautiful ABCD patterns everywhere through here. And uh, it works on any time frame. This happens to be a shorter time frame, but uh, it's, it was really a beautiful chart. The only thing I would suggest is, folks, don't use a black background. When we first started getting these computers, I was working at Commodity Corporation in Princeton, and uh, when they gave us these computers, this was 84, 80, early 85, they had uh, – they, they, they had a psychologist there and no black background. He said black background is terrible for reading anything or doing anything, especially charting. So if you've got a black background, change it. It's not good. And, I, well, hey, it's supposedly not good. I have to believe they paid that guy a lot of money. So whether it means a lot or not, you know, I'm not even sure. But we'll we'll certainly look to see, you know, what's going on with it. And let's move on to that. We've got uh, some more stuff coming in here. And we're hanging in there pretty good here. Our stocks are coming in. Uh, all right. And let's see. Did we get filled? Oh, we just missed the fill in the uh, – oh, we missed it by four pips in the uh, crude oil so far. But, you know, with the Fed coming in here, it's going to be crazy no matter what happens. And that's the real uh, nuts and bolts about this stuff that's going on. So – Hold on here, folks. Uh, the old cowboy's got to do one little housekeeping thing, and I'll be right back with you. What I'm doing now is uh, we've already backed off 40 pips from that uh, number on the crude oil. And so with the Fed coming in here, I do not want to have a position in crude oil when the Fed is here. So since I didn't get filled, if I did, I would put my stop at break even on the, the crude oil at 94.15, uh, but we only got to 94.11. So I didn't get filled, and we're 40 points on 400 books, 400 points below that, and I'm only risking a little more than that. So I wanted to cancel that and move on to uh, the next one that we're going to be uh, paying attention to. So those are just a few of the things that we're looking at here. So uh, let's get up here and just take care of a little bit of business, and then we'll be uh, we'll be okay here. Okay, let me see. Hold on a second. I'm I'm putting in. Uh, Got to change the quantity here. Uh, okay. Shut the front door and raise the rent. What are we going to do here? I got a decision to make on this darn crude oil. It's dropping like a rock, so I can't really do it. I've got to cancel the order and make sure I have my, my stop canceled on the other side of it. And uh, we're going to see what we get here as we uh, come into these things here today and see what's happening. And we'll, uh, we'll go from that level on. So let's move on to what we need to be doing here. Give me one second, folks. I have to change an order, and I don't want to screw up because if then I'll get be angry with myself, and I do not like to be angry with myself. So that's always a bad thing, of course. All right, let's move on here, and we'll go here and take all the guess out of it, and we're fine. So there's where we stand. All right, now we're okay. And then we've got the, the Fed coming in here. I'll be gone by the time the Fed gets here. Holy cow, that's right. Anyway, let's move. <laughs> got to love this business. Missing the darn crude oil by a little bit. It might be the high of the, that move, but that's a perfect 382. If we got there, I'd have my stop at break even during the Fed time. But with the Fed time here now, I want to wait and see. I still have the order setting in in bonds. It's a point away at 128.22. Uh, I'm trying to buy it there. And I'm risking the 127.22. That's what I'm paying attention to. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that. Uh, very, very exciting. So I'm ex – well, that doesn't make any difference what I'm expecting because nobody pays any attention to me. Remember, folks, we have tomorrow Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. I spoke to Jeff. He's still extremely bearish. Peter Lighty's has a special YouTube out, and he is very bearish also. And so let's uh, – those are things that we have to, uh, you know, keep in mind as we're, you know, looking at some of these things to do. But I, uh, I did cancel the crude oil trade because I didn't get filled. I do have an open trade in the S and uh, – in the uh, Dow, Dow – the bonds. Let's try the bonds. December bonds, 128.28. And then I have – risking a full point, 1000 bucks. And then I'm also selling the S&P, folks. You know, I'm 60 handles higher, 30 – 957 that's what i'm shooting for in the uh, that is a 382 off of the high that we made before we had the flying walinda to the downside of 1400 points so that's it that's what we're looking at anything could happen and it usually does so let's remind ourselves of that the trading is a journey 
It's not a destination. We'll be right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <laughs> well, folks, believe it or not, uh, the dividends of TFNN just keep on paying. I just received a message from one of our listeners that I miscalculated the number on the tra on the crude oil, and what I did was I had it set to to the wrong spot. I missed that high by just a little bit, and if I drew it incorrectly, the number was 84.11, and that's what it hit. And I thought it was 84.16 because I didn't have it picked right. I didn't do it automatically. I did it by hand. I want to measure that whole thing, but because I was off by 10 pips here, that affected that off. It hit the exact 382 at uh, 84.11. So I don't know what's going to happen from then on, but that's where I would be in it. And what I would do is I would have my stop at break even now, because if something really bad happens, this thing could make an ABCD to the downside. And if it doesn't, and if it doesn't, then it will go up and I would be out break even. I have two orders in there, folks. 
39.57 in the December at Stop and P, and I also have it in on the um, Hello Operator, the bonds at December bonds 128.22 uh, with the stop at 127.72. I'm risking 40 handles on uh, 20, excuse me, 20 handles on the S&P trade. So that's basically. It. But we had a nice move down on the downside in the S&P. Now we're waiting to see, you know, what happens next. But uh, again, I want to thank everybody that joined me yesterday. Really good crowd, and the emails that I got. Uh, wow, should put them in a diary because it really, uh, it really perked me up. And it's not easy to do five straight hours like that. And uh, you know, it was fun. It it, it really was. Of, of the four that I've done, I have to say, the five hours went so fast yesterday, and the response was so good. It really made me happy because teaching is what I like to do here, and I can change people's lives if they give me a few minutes, but a lot of people just don't flat want to do the work. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Stay tuned. On tomorrow, we'll have Jeff Huge. On Friday, we got the Mr. Norman Winsky of Astro Trends, and uh, we got the Autumn Equinox, folks. Summer is over. See you on the flip side. May God bless. 